Gang. 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 Happy Happy What's up, YouTube? It's not having it in the game caviar studio, rocking out with some Medal of Honor. And I'm playing this game because I have some news about Medal of Honor that's gonna rock your world. But first, let me take time out to give a big shout out to a fellow YouTuber, uh, Hardcore Vengeance. Uh, they hit us up through YouTube and um, they, uh, they, they basically said, uh, let's help each other. You know, and uh, I was down for it. I told him I was going to give him a shout out. I meant to do it in the last video, but I forgot because I kind of rushed through it. And um, so I, I make sure I made sure that I gave him a shout out that they deserve. Hardcore Vengeance. They uh, check them out. They have a lot of really good uh, 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 videos on that channel. They have a lot of good videos on that channel. It's um, very well put together. I'm looking at it right now. They have a really awesome background that i'm that i'm i'm jealous of it's just awesome anyway um check them out they have a lot a lot of good material on there and they um they uh they'll help um they'll help sponsor you they'll box you uh and uh that's what i'm looking at us right now we're boxed and uh we box them so check them out really cool cool people so Back to uh, uh, Medal of Honor. Yesterday, I read that uh, Medal of Honor, the new Medal of Honor, will be revealed on March 6th, uh, next month. It's coming up quick, and I'm really excited about that. The only thing that I'm really worried about is what are they going to do about the multiplayer portion of the game. They've already got... A, a they've already figured out the single player storyline like I said when this game was released last year out of all the first person shooters that came out Medal of Honor had the best single player storyline it was better than any other first person shooter that was released last year and I think second would be Homefront because Homefront really they really went outside of the box and gave you a really good um storyline that a lot of people may or may not have thought about but i digress uh metal of honor had the best storyline of all the first person shooters because it related to real world events so i'm not worried about the single player campaign i'm worried about this multiplayer campaign because if they have dice handling their multiplayer campaign like they did in the first metal of honor then it may be a bit of a problem because I like, you know what, the multiplayer campaign that they have in the first Medal of Honor was almost perfect. It was almost perfect. It had some sort of lag issues uh, and just the way that, I guess it was just lag. If they got rid of the lag, it would be perfect. I don't know whether Medal of Honor has dedicated servers like Battlefield. It should. I seriously hope that Medal of Honor 2 does if it doesn't already. Um, I would like to see them expand on their weapons. I would like to see them expand on their um, weapon attachments. Kind of sort of like on Battlefield. If they have the same type of uh, a similar setup but an improved setup, then that would be amazingly perfect. This game took uh, kill streaks and they made them into um, something that was manageable and something that was, uh, if you get it, it's cool, but if you don't get it, it's no big deal. And I like the way that they made you choose between one or the other. Either you're going to help yourself or you're going to help your team. Um, Modern Warfare 3 kind of did that too with the specialist, uh, uh, whatever it's called. But um, Medal of Honor is more of a uh, real-time, uh, what is it, a real-time decision-making process because you're already in the, in the match. And then you get a choice between a mortar strike and a UAV. You have a certain time to pick. I mean, you can hold it for the rest of the map, but for the rest of the match. But, you know, you want to use one or the other fairly quickly. Now, either you're going to help your team or you're going to help yourself. Which one are you going to be? You're going to be selfish or you're going to be helpful. You know, um, that, that was my big concern about Medal of Honor, the second one. Uh, I've heard rumors that it may be set somewhere in the uh, in the future, but not like the Star Wars future, but you know, kind of like um, 
what's that other game called ghost recon you know uh what is it is it ghost recon future soldier whatever it's called anyway metal varner 2 reveal march 6 i believe next it's gonna be in the beginning of march keep an eye out for that i will i will report anything that i find out about it i believe it's gonna be amazing i i, I seriously do i think that the the team is gonna look at what how, how metal of honor the first one played out and really improve on it and i already think that the game is going to be better than call of duty i'm calling that right now metal of honor will be better than call of duty because um to me call of duty is a broken game now i'm, I'm not even i'm moving away from call of duty i will honestly give um treyarch another chance and i will check out black ops 2 when it gets released but as far as infinity ward goes they're out they don't they don't care about the, the consumers they only care about you know lacing their wallets anyway um what do you guys what do you guys want to see in the next medal of honor i know the first person shooter um genre is is oversaturated with games but if you really look at it you have cod battlefield you got medal of honor you got home front and what else what else do you have you have uh uh what what was that game I just said earlier? Anyway, the major ones, major ones. And I'm saying Homefront is a major one too because um, I gauge how popular a game is by how many people still play it. Now, I believe more people still play Homefront than Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor was kind of overlooked. Homefront, they had a really good ad campaign when it first came out and, I, and I, the people who played the game really enjoyed it, including myself. That's why anytime you play Homefront, it's still a lot of people that that are on i have no trouble finding matches at home front so like i said you got cod battlefield metal of honor home front and um you can add like i don't know section 8 or some downloadable content to it but those are the major players and uh if i'm missing one please forgive me uh give me a comment let me know what other games you think should be in the top five uh first person shooters but Medal of Honor, I believe Medal of Honor will be better than COD. I believe the next Battlefield will be better than COD because COD is really starting to get stale and is and it's run its course. So, you know, Infinity Ward and Treyarch are gonna have to go back to the to the um they're gonna have to humble themselves and go back to the drawing board and and figure out exactly what they need to do to refresh that series. They need to reboot it. Um this video is just about over. Tell me what you want to see in the next Medal of Honor game. Um, of course like comment subscribe spread the word i'm not having it reporting live from the game caviar studio and i'm out copy boss man passing over to python one to relay roger that python one this is boss man over go for python one roger we have eyes on the target there's debris